What's up gamers and welcome to episode 10 on the hardcore road to quest cave. Last time we made a right mess of things in the goblin quest line, knocked out all the stat requirements for lunar diplomacy, and completed desert treasure to unlock ancient magics. Today I want to finish the mission to get my lunar armor, rescue Xanak, and maybe even try our luck in a fight caves. Make sure to stick around to see how that goes. Uh, before I can complete lunar diplomacy, I need to get a few runecrafting talismans for access to the elemental altars for the quest. My idea for this is to get Rune Mysteries completed so that I can do the Entering the Abyss mini quest for access to the Abyss, as the mobs in there drop talismans frequently, and they're great early game combat XP. Ah, completing those two didn't take very long, so it's off to the Abyss to snag my talismans. That also didn't take very long. Let's get Lunar Diplomacy underway. This is a great wee quest about making peace between the Moon Clan and the Fremenic. It'll always hold a special place in my heart, even if the trials at the end can be frustrating. And there we go. Luna's done. We now have access to the lunar armor and spells. This is absolutely huge. I think it's time to start making use of the command center we built in the last episode to check my base camp. And I can upgrade to the tier three storehouse finally. Nice. I'm hoping I can get the sleeping quarters upgraded by the end of the episode as well. And then I can just upgrade the other buildings as I meet the level requirements for them. All right, I've been doing a little bit of fishing on the side. I need 65 here for some like it cold and back to the freezer so I can maximize my penguin points. But I want to keep pushing all the way to 68 so I can get into the fishing guild for access to the traveling merchant. I've been doing a little bit of fish fling as a long way for the outfit. And uh, this one just got me 68. So I think we uh, I think we're done now. So quick detour for cash before we get into quests, and that just got us 85 divination. That unlocks the energy on Dragontooth Island, and it's going to make caches a lot quicker and easier. I guess now it's time to cook up all the food from 68 fishing. I'm hoping for 70 cooking for quest cake from this, but I'm not sure if I've got quite enough fish. We'll see. Okay, I'm back after some serious cooking. I didn't hit 70 for quest cake, but I did get to 67, so that's some progress at least. I think I'm going to start doing a little bit of mining and smithing in the background on mobile when I can. I want level 80 for quest cape, invention, and so I can repair my tagger's hammer. Before I go AFK though, let's take some of this food to a mole reaper, huh? As expected, nothing too exciting from that, but I realize that I have enough reaper points to buy reaper's choice now. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to choose my reaper tasks every now and again. Neat! Ah oh, man, weekly research just rolled around and I didn't quite get a chance to do the penguin quest yet. So I've done one last lot of penguins without them, and I'm going to throw all the XP straight onto Herblore here, which gets us level 75, which is one of the requirements for Plague's End. Oh, and 1600 total level. Nice. I can finally buy my third life. I, uh, I just need to work out a way to get 10 mil, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, I want to get back to questing now. Let's start out with the Chosen Commander so I can free Xanak and discover a destiny and maybe get some tasty XP rewards. With that out of the way, I want to actually move on to some like it cold and back to the freezer. Those penguin quests are just so quirky you can't help but love them. They're full of weird puzzles and odd jokes. Honestly, just great all round quests. And there we go, back to the freezer, done. Max penguin points on Herblore incoming. I think it might be time for regicide now. I'm still a long way off proof, but it can't hurt to make a start early. So after muddling through the underground pass and taking out Tyrus' gap, spoiler alert, turns out Lathus is in league with the bad guys. At least I can get a chunk of agility XP and access to dragon halberds, which I can't afford or equip right now. Never mind, regicide complete. Actually, I might as well do rune memories quick, uh, to finish up that wee, wee storyline quickly. Done. It might be time to go back to some mining now. All right, back from mining, and we're at the Artisan's Workshop. I think it's time for a wee update on the mining smithing grind. I have managed to mine and smith enough room burial sets to get 60 smithing, so I've gone and made myself an Orichalcum ore box, mattock, and pick. I'll come back to this and update you again once I've made some more progress. Well, well, well. Looks like I get to make use of my first ever Reaper's Choice. I think I might choose Barrows and get my first ever Barrows kills on the account. Let's check that out. Alright, how hard can we spoon? <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Oh, 
we're ready for some rocks. Bolt racks and more barrows totems. Okay, okay. Anything good? Nope. Well, that's our Reaper task done, and that just got us level 72 Slayer. Back to questing, and we're just finishing up impressing the locals for access to the Ark. I'm going to need to come back to the Ark a little bit later on, as uh, you can earn chimes in Taihiru here to purchase the Hunter outfit, which gives you a plus 6% boost to Hunter when you wear it. Be handy. Okay, now I want to go get my Karos Clue Carrier. So I just busted out, you are it. And now it's time for the needle skips. My lord, did all that dialogue take ages for all the rewards. But uh, we are done now. And now I can get on with Desperate Times. There we go. Desperate Times completed. Karos Clue Carrier obtained. I wish I could do Desperate Measures now as well and continue the storyline. But that takes 50 archaeology. So that's going to have to go on the to-do list. I don't really feel like skilling just yet, so uh, rather than trading archaeology, I'm going to go do Death of Chivalry. There we go. That's done. Now I've got a Skull of Remembrance for easy teleport to the Black Knight's Fort. I need to come back here when I've got 80 strength, though, to pick up the rest of the XP rewards. Another thing bugging me is all these keys in my bank, so I'm going to clean them up. We're going to go do one small favor now and get our key ring. Okay. Okay, that was way more than one small favor, but I got my key ring now, so that'll free up some bank space. And we also got 77 herb lore from that. I ain't gonna complain. So just doing a quick Barrows Reaper, nothing good so far, but lucky last, right? Huh, I just got 71 magic there. That's pretty cute, and combat level 86. Lovely, what do we get from our chest? <gasps> oh, yo! Ah, I got a Pyrex home. Cute. Oh, that's, uh, well, that's quite cool. I got a little tier 70 tank helm for melee now. I just tallied in Danacronia doing my dailies. I was like, I'll just check on my base camp. And I have enough resources down here to finally upgrade the sleeping quarters to tier three. Now we have tier three town hall, storehouse, and sleeping quarters. And a new day brings a new Barrow's Reaper. No drops from this one, but it is our 50th Reaper on the count, so we get some good points from that. So I promise to come back with a smithing update, so... There we go! Level 70 smithing in the bag! This is huge! And there we have it! The Necronium Ore Box, Matic, and Pickaxe Plus 4, all made delightful! I've just been training a little bit of archaeology and we've managed to pull ourselves a complete tome, which should get us level 50 archaeology. Nice. And now we have all the levels for desperate measures. Oh, that'll get us our cosmic focus. There we go. Well, with 50 archaeology, we've unlocked the assistant qualification, which means that we get some cool new stuff at the shop and we can start research teams that's pretty exciting oh and we get a bit of a broadcast so you remember how i said earlier that killing the mobs in the abyss is also good combat xp well i'm sick of having my vanquish mock me from the bank so i went in to get level 75 mage so i can finally use my weapon and what better place to test our new weapon than in the fire caves over a jad reaper let's go Well, that uh, didn't, didn't quite work out as planned. I think that's our first death on the account. Fortunately, Jad's a safe death, so we still have all of our lives. So we are going to reset Vampirism Aura and give it another send. We're so close. So close, but so far. I don't want to shell out for another aura reset at the moment, so I'm going to take my frustration out here on Chaos Alley, and we'll just come back at Bajad another day. I still feel like I need one more win. So let's go knock out desperate measures for the Cosmic Focus and the Remo Totem base. <laughs> Stock is stacked! Oh yeah, just casually convince an Elder God to give us a hand. Yep. <laughs> Carapax, Blackstone Dragon. Squishy! <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's deal with the problem dragon kin himself. That's it. Desperate measures wrapped up. 20,000 archaeology XP, a cosmic focus, Remo totem piece, and three quest points. Heck yeah. I'm really annoyed we didn't get the quest, uh, the fight cape today, but maybe that's a, that'll be a thing we can take on later. All right, what do we get for our quest die for 200 quest points? Let's roll this bad boy. Addy plate skirt T and 500k. Well, I'll take the 500k without complaining for sure. Damn, there's been some huge gains this episode. A massive thank you for watching this far through the episode. Make sure to tune in next time when we risk it all. <laughs>